We might be only two races in, but a major focal point of the 2021 Formula 1 season so far has been the performances of the group of star names who have joined new teams for this year. Sebastian Vettel and Aston from Ferrari, Fernando Alonso returning to Alpine after his two-year hiatus, Carlos Sainz in at Ferrari from McLaren, Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren from Renault, and Sergio Perez in that, dare we say cursed, second Red Bull seat, have found the switch a little harder than they expected. And so far, all five have struggled to match their teammates' form. All five drivers have made intriguingly similar comments about finding the limits and requiring that extra bit of confidence in cars that they still don't know very well. Their collective struggles were not helped by this year's reduced testing programme, a result of cost-saving measures agreed with the FIA. Teams had just three days of running in Bahrain, giving each driver just one and a half days of track session plus a short filming day shakedown session to adapt to their new environments and team. If you had mechanical gremlins like Vettel, your testing time was further compromised heading into the first race weekend, where you faced just two hours of Friday practice instead of the previous three. These shorter sessions are designed to help the team make the car go faster rather than allow a driver to experiment, so it's extremely hard to catch up if you're not comfortable from the get-go. And whilst having the season open it in Bahrain, where there's plenty of margin for error, might have been a bit of a blessing, they next came to an old-school track Imola, where there's very little runoff in places and curbs that bite. Throw in the FIA's laser focus on track limits and then rain on race day when these guys had no experience of running their new cars on wet tyres, it was a difficult weekend and as Perez put it, Imola was a pretty brutal challenge. After qualifying, it looked like Perez had done a better job of adapting to his new situation than his colleagues as he took a superb second on the grid. But then a fraught race day that saw a bad start, an off behind the safety car and a spin reminded the Mexican that he still has a lot to learn. Perez conceded that Imola was a tough test, saying it was one of the worst places you can come with a new car. A little mistake here in qualifying or the race can be hugely costly. Alonso snuck into the top 10 on Sunday after Kimi Raikkonen received a penalty, but thus far the former world champion has struggled to match Alpine teammate Esteban Ocon, who in turn spent most of 2020 trying to catch Daniel Ricciardo, then more settled at Renault. Alonso recognises that it's been a tough job for all the drivers in new seats this year, but he insists that the Imola weekend provided a good education, stating that after every lap, he feels more comfortable. The Imola race proved to be a nightmare for Vettel, who had to start from the pit lane after both Astons had last-minute brake fires. For good measure, he then got a penalty as the team was still working on the car too close to the start. Despite being on the back foot before the lights went out, Vettel said after the race he felt he was ultimately missing that last bit of confidence, something which would have definitely helped in the circumstances. Vettel's team boss Otmar Zafnauer has sympathy for the plight of the former world champion, saying that the Aston and the Ferrari don't share the same philosophies and getting the most from their new cars will take time, whilst also acknowledging that had Vettel gained more winter testing time, he'd be in a different place on that learning curve. McLaren boss Andreas Seidel agreed with this too, however he insisted that everyone just has to accept the circumstances, stating that it's not surprising the situation the team swap drivers are in. Ricardo himself made the great point that this year's tighter field has put an even bigger spotlight on gaps between teammates, and that with every tenth of a second mattering, especially at Imola, you need to push the car to the limit, but you need the confidence to do so, something the drivers in the new teams are seriously lacking. Science probably has the most experience of changing teams, having bounced around from Toro Rosso to Renault to McLaren and now on to Ferrari. At Marinello, he's come up against Charles Leclerc, in his third season with the team, brimming with confidence and absolutely at the top of his game. Science has struggled to match him over one lap so far, but says that Leclerc is the qualifying expert and completely at home in the Ferrari, knowing what to expect from the car. Despite this lack of Ferrari experience though, Science's intriguing insight may help him match his teammate yet. He mentioned at Imola it was all about how the car reacted to the curbs and was caught out a couple of times, losing on the straights that followed, but overall, he wasn't slower in the corners than the clerk. If science can pick up the nuances of the red machine, he argues he can be up there with the best of them. As Alonso suggested, the crazy Imola race probably accelerated the progress along the learning curve for all five drivers. 
They will no doubt make further steps in Portimao and Barcelona, hopefully just in time for everything to fall in place when they arrive in Monaco, a track where confidence is everything and those limits are finer than anywhere else. After all, as the saying goes, no pain, no gain. <laughs>